Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 82 of Treya 1.3. Last episode, we got a full set of adamantite armor. A pretty nice. Could go back and make a repeater if I chose to do it. I also got a good bit of lead while we were digging so I could make some more chests, and we do need to continue spamming the chest. What I would like to do right now, though, is let me head home, pick up the diamonds, because we found a gem cave. And I ran into quite a few diamonds if I could find find them. See, this is why we're making a storage solution, because I'm sick of this. This is very obnoxious. <laughs> Not being able to find my diamonds. There they are. 22 diamonds. So, take your regular torches. We have all the white torches we could ever need. So I'm going to be able to finally start putting torches in my house. Now we're going to have an idea for what my lighting situation is going to look like in the little vault that we've got going on. So let's take a look here. Uh, I still want to go do things over to the hollow, like maybe try to get the blessed apple so I can use the unicorn mount. I would like to, uh, what's it called, what's the thing called, the hollow chest, the hollow mimic, I would love to be farming them. I like that, that keeps things well lit. So what we'll do, is we'll put a white torch, uh, I'm painting them white. Uh, what do they look like without the paint? Admittedly, I do like that better, because it's like a different shade of white. So let me just pick these back up, and here we go, bam. So we're going to put white torches at every layer just to keep it super bright in here because my house I love to keep it very well lit I think it just looks better and we need to start spamming these boreal wood chests we found out that uh, I need more lead last episode I need a whole bunch more lead uh, kind of a ridiculous amount of lead to be 100% honest with you but it is what it is we'll have to roll with it <laughs> now though we can finally start working on a storage situation. I can finally organize things, say like, this is my super rare chest, this is my poopy chest, this is my like item armor chest, this is my wood only chest, you know, things like that. We have storage, we have, I, I like it. it. It was long overdue and it's finally coming into fruition and I for one can appreciate that fact. Now, I can make a few more boreal wood chests and I only need to make a couple. I only have a couple bars on me anyway. So let's see, I can make seven I think. Yep, seven, because it uses two bars for each chest. Is that enough to fill up this line? It sure is. So I can do the top line at the very least. Can't finish the bottom one. <laughs> one chest off. Dun, dun, dun. I have iron bars at home, so we could, we could do this if we need to. But now we can start renaming them and stuff like that. So, like, rename. Uh, I don't know. See, when I start moving things over, we're going to find out what we're organizing. See, what you're going to want to probably do is the bottom layer. I think I'm going to want to have like super commonly used things, super rare things, things that I don't want to necessarily have to jump up every time to go get. So, I mean, I don't know if I want to call this like anything important. I might want to go bring some shadow chests down here. That way I know it's like super fancy loot just aesthetically. I mean, you could break up these chests. You could put different chests. There's so many things I could do, but I can rename them and that's pretty cool. I also still need to finish my walls. So why don't we do that really really fast i think i have enough boreal wood now that's been a little bit little bit overdue i thought i had black paint but it does not appear to be the case so what i'm going to do is go buy some black paint real fast boreal wood walls let's just craft them up boreal wood walls there we are let's just do these really fast that should get me by and we still need the black paint so go home Please know enemies don't spawn during the night. It's a very real possibility that they could. Where's my painter? There he is. There's so many NPCs in such such like a small confined space that it's so hard to find them sometimes. That is more than enough. I don't need to pay for this. So we can finally start working on finalizing the house and moving in. Even if it's not aesthetically finished, once I have my storage and crafting situation handled, I'll be a very, very happy camper. So, paint spire is equipped. This should be black paint because I put the white paint in the inventory slot below it. Good to go. So, spam walls. Also, I guess I, I forgot to mention, we totally killed a, uh, a, a corrupted mimic recently. Got myself this upgraded hook. Not one of the better drops from that mimic, but it's a nice drop nonetheless. It is a better hook than the ivy whip. And it does have three, three little prongs or whatever we're calling them. And it has an extended reach. So, very, very useful. Walls appear to have finally been finished. Let's... Let's do a pass through to make sure we're not missing any any walls, you know, no holes in the house. I can't color within the lines apparently, but there it is. There it is. So let's fix the boo-boo I just made. I'm good at making boo-boos. 
Boo Boo has been fixed. Now once we start putting these white torches, this is really going to light up. And it's going to look really, really nice. I mean, like right now, I could, I'm could i not going to keep these torches here, but just to maybe start getting the house kind of lit up. Let's just start putting torches down. Like, why not? So you could, I think you can start to see this is going to look pretty nice. Just a matter of time. So, do I, I don't know if I want to change out the chest. Maybe put, like, different chests in there. Maybe, like, mix them up. Put a different one in the center. I don't know. But, we could start moving our things over. Uh, why don't we at least start bringing good stuff over? Good things. Like, I could bring, like, all my, uh, all my hard mode loot or something along those lines. Let me make two cooked fish or one just to get rid of them kill those dudes because they, they're still a, they're still a threat let me reverse craft my walls back into planks because they're more useful that way okay so if we're gonna bring the hard mode ores and bars and things like that let me loot all I'm carrying all kinds of loot right now like good loot <laughs> very good loot let's bring the shadow chest and I think what I'll do is put like super fancy things, hard mode ores, souls, in a shadow chest on the bottom floor. Because it's things that we're going to be accessing frequently. Like rare loot, kind of, kind of deal. So, maybe like in the center. I mean, I don't want to paint these white. I think I want to let these stand out a little bit. I, mean, I, I, like, the, I, like, the, I like the light purple. It's actually kind of cool. I'll put them there. I can even center them. I can even do that. Like, in, in the center, so we're going to put border wood chests around them. Just center them. Works for me. It's pretty. So, I'll probably put it, like, right at the very beginning. And we'll put adamantite in here. Palladium. I'll put the bars at the bottom. And then the reason I do that is I'll put the ores at the top. And also, what I'll do, since we'll be likely getting a lot of crates from fishing, is there's different tiers. There's cobalt and palladium. So, let me move these bars over a couple slots. So, mithril will go here. And then titanium would go here, or calcum ore can go above it. I think you can kind of see my my idea. So once I start getting cobalt, because we do want cobalt armor sets, that's where my end goal to get a bunch of mannequins with all the armors. Uh, we'll put them here. Don't need diamonds. Souls I, I typically put over in like the right side, but if I'm gonna dedicate this pretty much purely to the ores and bars. I guess I would have enough room, because typically what I do is I put hard mode stuff, almost all of it in one chest. Like, super rare stuff. I don't I think I have a problem storing Souls of Night, Souls of Light, Souls of Flight, and there's Might, uh, Sight, and Sight? Yeah, there's a couple Souls. So we're, I don't think we're going to have a storage problem. I think we can leave them in here. We gotta be good. Is this armor? I could use another banner. Come at me, bro. We're going to start hanging banners in this house and finally make this house functional. I could start putting grass down too, and I really should make a little, like a little garden out here, and put a sunflower to decrease these spawns. There's so many things I need to do. It's it's quite a lot. Oh my god, our work is cut out for us. <laughs> oh boy, let's quick stack some of this stuff. And it's been a while since I've tended to my farms. I want more potions, so let's take care of this right now. Moon glow for sure. I, I still know about the Staff of Regrowth, and if you've watched any of my streams recently, I've really been using that very frequently. It's very good. It is very, very, very good. You get so many seeds. But unfortunately in this world, I found numerous chests in the jungle, but I have kind of been shafted every time when it comes to loot. I, don't, I haven't gotten one yet. So there's not much I can do there. Dryad is still trying to kill things, but she's not exactly having the best of times. <laughs> <laughs> she always does this. I still need to handle the whole corruption and hollow spread. I mean, I think what we're going to end up doing is committing a couple episodes late game to handling that. Let me just store all my stuff. All right, let's deal with the issues present. Water bolt generally makes a short work of everything. Farmed all that stuff. Good to go. So I, I like the idea of maybe putting a little garden out here with some sunflowers in it just to spruce things up and, again, to be very effective as an item. But... Let's continue to move things. Let's relocate them. I might buy another piggy bank. I actually hold on. I can just go home. I can pick up the piggy bank. I, I always forget that. Even though the piggy bank has items in it, you can pick it up. Put a piggy bank at home. Stack our cash. Eight platinum. Feels good, man. Eight platinum is is so nice. So so very nice. So do I have souls or anything cool like that elsewhere? Eh, no, 
Not really. So what I'll probably do is also the ores. We'll, we'll definitely dedicate a chest to that. So what I what I think I'm gonna do is take the ores. Let's see ores. Let me loot all. Again, this is this is going to be very very messy. Uh, I teleported home because I'm like, my home's in the sky now. Nope. Not yet. Soon. TM. Soon. Working on it. <laughs> now, I'm not going to put ores and stuff in a shadow chest. There's no merit in that, I don't really think. What I want to do is actually equip the paint sprayer again. I'm going to borrow some of these chests. Because I think what I will do is put chests at the top. And these will be like non-hard mode ores, like not super fancy. Let me just start storing them all in here, like gems. I'll, make, I'll probably make a chest for gems too. Things like that. Gems and stuff always have gone in the same chest for me, like gems and bars. So we're, 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 we're moving up in the world. Storage will never be an issue again. I, I, I'm very hype about finally having this, this started. Long overdue. Let's just kill the, the shadow thing here. Good old Phoenix Blaster. Should get a fishing quest, but I think we did it. It wasn't, yeah, it was the the zombie fish. So we're good there. Hellforge, don't need to be bigger. Adamantite Forge, it's it's good. Let's put my building stuff away finally so I can carry some more items. That'll be quite nice. I don't need any of this. Boreal wood, I don't require. I don't require that. So we're going to have like weapons and armor chests. It's, this is, um, <laughs> this makes me happy. Makes me very, very happy. So I didn't get all of the ores and stuff, did I? Nay. Oh my good golly god. Quite a few things in there. Well, chest, you're moving up in life. You're being you're being relocated. You're being relocated. How's it feel? How's it feel? Feels good a bit. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, just having the storage space, I'm very, very hype. Now can I quick stack anything? Kind of. See what's gonna happen is we're gonna come we're gonna come in here, we're gonna quick stack. Poof! Inventory clean. <laughs> There's going to be a placeholder for basically everything. For now, I'm just bringing it up here. We can sort out the chest later. That's a building block. Get rid of that. And then, I mean, like, we have gems. I mean, I, this might all end up being ores and bars and things of that nature. And then I'll maybe I'll put gems above it. Don't quite know yet. Get rid of the regular chests. And, well, I don't think I'm going to need as many hellforges ever, but I'll spam them. We'll maybe craft some adamantite forges late game and have a bunch of them. Not quite sure on that front yet. Let me just double check. I should not have a fishing quest. I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. No, I'm not. We're good. We're good. Next day, we'll definitely get another. So potions, we're going to have building blocks. That's accessory chests. All of the stuff. And what are these things? Damn it, get out of here. I I'm busy relocating things. What do we got up here? Voodoo dolls. Die chests are not a bad idea either. Weapons chest. Yeah, there's going to be weapons chests. Okay. I don't know if I want to do too too much relocating at the moment because I don't want to drive too many people insane. Uh, as soon as day hits, I'm definitely going to get another fishing quest. I'm going to move on with that. Do we want to start farming hollow? Huh. Well, what I want to do, this is a little risky, but let me do this real quick, guys. I'm going to save an exit. Let me just go to single player. Now, I think this is fair unless we want to generate another world. My streaming world is in hard mode. And it has crimson. I'm going to go to the streaming world. I'm not going to, like, loot this world or anything. What I'm going to do is... Oh, i got to remember where all the things are. I don't have my map. But I'm going to go down my elevator. And I'm going to just steal some crimson. Like, some blocks. And we're going to start the crimson spread in my world. Because in my other world... I have no crimson, and that means I can't get crimson items. So I'm not going to cheat. My, well, it's not cheating. I mean, either way, I'd be regening a world. But I'm not going to like loot this world. I'm not going to farm this world. I'm going to bring some things over and use that to create my own crimson. So I'm trying to do things as like basically legit as possible, I guess. Uh, Merman, I don't, I don't need you here. So my my streaming world down here in this elevator where it's crimsoned, not corrupted, crimson. It's so hectic. It's so easy to die in here. It's, there's Icker stickers, by the way. Those are the things that are hard mode crimson exclusive. I could farm them in this world. I don't really see that being too much of an issue. But I'm going to start spawning them in my own world and making my own farm. So let me just steal a couple crimson blocks. Because what these do 
these will spread to regular stone and they'll take them over and I can just you know put them in my world and make my own crimson that's that's the goal and then we'll take quite a few that way we have you know enough to really start the the crimson spread so that is this is good that should be plenty so let's actually save and quit go back to my regular streaming world or regular single player world so I mean if you, if you, you haven't watched me stream I mean I, I've streamed for apparently 24 hours on this character I've been on vacation recently that's why it's not gonna last forever but I'll still try to stream won't be as frequent won't be as long but I'll still stream there's a whole streaming character streaming world it's been a lot of fun but anyway let's get back to our, our real world our main world <laughs> our let's play world and I just have these blocks so what I would like to do is pretty much just find an area in the cave cavern layer blow up lots and lots of stuff around it and then that way there it won't be contaminated by other biomes and it won't also contaminate it won't spread out I can just use it purely as a crimson farm so I'm not gonna like set that up at the moment but I just wanted to get those blocks so I have the capability now if we're going to start storage stuff, oh, hold on, it's a new day. Uh, we'll have to figure out where we're going to put, like, blocks. Sky lakes and services. Let's do that really fast. That's an easy one. So I want to figure out where I'm going to put, like, building blocks. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just trying to think of the storage. Like, we have, we have the ores and bars on the right side. Do we want to go up and put more blocks up there? I think uh, blocks towards the top makes sense. Like, weapons on the left of that. So... It doesn't really matter. I mean, either way, there's, there's room for it. I'm just trying to imagine how I want to have this spaced out. So, again, we're, we're doing our fishing quests. We're not going to stop them anytime soon. You need to keep them up on the daily. It's also not a bad idea to actually be doing this just on the regular and getting crates. I mean, I, I could throw on my my uh, fishing gear. Now you can see what the Adamantite armor looks like. So Adamantite's pretty cool. I'm still partial to the helmet for melee. We're definitely, look how fast we're getting a, a bite with the armor on. We, we did get our quest, so let me see if I can get another crate. I am getting a ridiculous amount of bomb fish. There's a wooden crate, cool. So you can open these up and then you obviously get hard mode ores and things like that. You can get sky crates. I think, I think sky crates are their own thing. And they're pretty uncommon. I don't know if I've ever, I think I've had one. I don't get them often. People keep telling me to fish for them. And I understand that, that it, they exist, but the amount of time that it would require me to sit here on camera and, and, and fish is a lot. <laughs> so I don't want to overly bore people. That's why I haven't sat down here and just dedicated like an hour to fishing Skyware crates. But I mean, I know they exist and that's a cool concept. I fully appreciate it. I understand. I'm glad they have it because that way, if your world runs out of things to loot, there's still technically that unlimited supply. A very cool mechanic. I think I'm going to call it there. I fished for, yeah, fished for quite a long time. I've gotten three crates already. That's pretty huge. Let's uh, let's see what we get. Lead bar. Hey, I need those mana potions. Ginger beard. Ah, I got this on my world when I was playing with my buddy. Um, I don't really think you, it should. It's, it's an accessory. This is the goofy thing. It's an accessory. But it doesn't show up if you have a hat on. So, like, I'd have to... <laughs> I have to take my hat off. So it looks pretty goofy. And again, it takes up an accessory slot. I, I don't think I'll be wearing it, but pretty funny. Spelunker potions, I appreciate those. Adamantite bar, nice. Dragon bait, palladium ore. So some good stuff. <laughs> Get wrecked, slime. If only you took fall damage. Some good stuff, I, I can appreciate it. Whoa, what? Oh, did I, <laughs> oh, did I not equip my, my balloons? That's funny. I can't press escape and take a look at my accessories, but lol. I think I right-clicked it and it cycled out my uh, my stuff. <laughs> what a, what a what a good way to go. So, okay, so you see bundle of balloons. Do not get rid of fall damage. <laughs> so I think somebody suggested that. Actually, hold on. Uh oh yeah. See, okay. I didn't have my I had my paint sprayer equipped. That's why. Somebody suggested bundle of balloons get rid of fall damage. No, no, they don't. I mean, there, there's your proof. But that was funny. <laughs> Not going to worry about that. That was just a silly death. But anyway, let's turn in our fishing quest. See what we get. What do we got in here? Charles, what do you get for me? Super absorbent sponge. Plus two reach. Capable of soaking up an endless amount of water. Um, Is this an accessory? I forget what this... It just says plus two range. 
I don't I don't know what that means. Does no, does this do you place it? I don't know how this works. I, I've read about this. Oh, okay. That's what it does. You just use it. And it soaks up water. Like, it just gets rid of it. I don't think you can place water with it, though. No. So, it's a good way of getting rid of water. That's actually a really cool item. That would be so good to get early, early game. And say you made your elevator and you kept getting water. Oh, my goodness. I so wish I got one of those earlier. That's cool. Alright, well... Let me work on building blocks now. It's going to be actually really easy to do this. So let me just take a bunch of these. Let's go back to our house. Got our ginger beard. Don't know where I'm going to put that, but... Super Absorbent Sponge. Cool quest, cool quest reward. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alright, that was a, a dumb mistake on my behalf. Give me them bundle of balloon jumps. Oh my god, seriously, I freaking hate the bee sometimes. Alright, fuck the bee. Bee is useless actually going to be replacing the bee soon. And we're going to be replacing it in favor of the unicorn from the blessed apple. I have it on my, my uh, streaming world. It's so fun. It goes so fast. It, it, like horizontally. It doesn't fly. But it goes so fast horizontally. It's so cool. Okay. If we're going to move this stuff. I'm, I'm, we're going to work our way over from the right to the left I guess. So let me put these here. Uh, paint sprayer. Let me equip this. Now, white paint is not even in my inventory, so hold on. Let me delete this. Let's put our white paint in our inventory just so it's painted. Hop off! Hop off, sir! Hop off, slimes! White paint! Where you at? White paint! I would love to be able to shoot you, but the mannequin's in the way. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. You're to these. Don't need them. So, paint spire is equipped. Let's paint these bad boys. And get that back on so we don't have an accidental death like that. Quick stack some loot, because I had ores, I guess. Yes, I did. Now, these will... Okay, so if this is going to be ores and bars, this might even be a line of ores and bars, because you get quite a bit. And this is probably going to be gem-related. I think I'll put building blocks starting at the top. So I'm not really going to care about the order yet. What we're doing is we're relocating them. Uh, super Absorbent Sponge. This is a super cool item. So I think I'm going to throw it in my piggy bank for the moment. Uh, since it is a building block, let me put the crim crimson blocks in here. Uh, we'll have a fishing chest. We'll have a dedicated fishing chest, that's for sure. I don't know if there's any chest that specifically looks like it's related to fishing that I could use. So I'm not sure. Put the white paint away. Super absorbent sponge. I'm, I'm really happy about this for some reason. It's pretty funny. So, more building blocks. No problem there. See, I mean, we have plenty of ebstone. I can make my own little biome. Not that it's not going to spread naturally as it is, but I needed the crimson. So that's all the building blocks from that chest. Uh, no real building blocks here. Building blocks there. The Dynasty wood is a building block. We bought that from the merchant. Building blocks. The gem spark blocks. Cloud walls. Sure. Pretty much anything really that I can build with, I'm going to start relocating. So like say one day I have an anchoring to build something. Okay, well I've got blocks, you know? Just move them, just use them, whatever. Let's go store them. I like this. This is going to be so nice in the long run because there's there's so much left to do. No, gra grappling hook, I hate you. I hate you, grappling hook. I hate you, grappling hook. And I hate you, bee, for being tired. So the bee gets tired and you have to wait for it. Pretty annoying. Grappling hook. You're an upgraded one. What's wrong with you? Quit being shitty. Alright, we got this. Got these mad hops. <laughs> so where I want to put a fishing quest, or a fishing quest, a fishing chest, I don't really know yet. Dynasty wood, all this, and here. Now there's all these placeholders, so when we quick stack, they're going to go in there. I'll organize them eventually, like dirt, uh, things like that. And there's going to be a lot of blocks in here, so we can spread them out across like this little group of three. So fishing quests, I mean, I, I, this is why I need more chests so I can <laughs> spread these things out. But let me head back down to the house. Maybe we'll take a little break from the storage situation just for now. Because I've already freed up so much space. And let's see, if I want to get the Daedalus Stormbow, I need to farm for Souls of Light. I could make the Angel Wings really quick. I know there's a Jungle Wings, I know you can get them super early game. But we could go to the hollow which I'm pretty sure is to the left I really don't remember seeing much of the hollow in this world it's 
Definitely not to the right. Let me go to the left and see what we've got going on in terms of the hollow. Not a bad time to get over there, and also, let me head home. Let me bring a heart lantern. And the reason I say let's bring a heart lantern, I have hearts in here. Uh, heart lantern, heart lantern, let's bring like two. The reason I suggest this, do I have any chains? Damn it, I have to go to my, my house and make some. <laughs> so, well, the reason I want to bring heart lanterns is if we're going to farm for the uh, the blessed apple, you can do it, I think, in anywhere in the hollow. I think you can do it in the underground, but I think you can do it in the surface as well. I want to do it in the surface because the unicorns there drop unicorn horns, which will allow you to make the holy arrows. And if we're going to get the Daedalus Stormbow, holy arrows are kind of a requirement. You want them. Maybe not a requirement, but you want them. They have such a unique effect, especially when you use it with the bow, that it will wreck the destroyer. It will truck him. It'll destroy the destroyer. It'll be hilarious. It'll be kind of, he'll be a pushover. And that's kind of the goal. I'll obviously use like campfires too, put like two of them, and then we'll just flatten out an arena. So this is where we're going to farm for pixie dust. We'll farm for the unicorn horns, the blessed apple. If I could get a couple other things, it'd be great. I mean, hard mode accessories. So the megaphone comes from the pixies, I believe. Unless they've tweaked that, of course. They tweak everything, so... <laughs> Who knows? I think our desert might actually end up getting turned into hollow. In my streaming world, I turned into crimson. It's pretty funny. It got completely taken over. But that's just kind of how things work. Get out of here. Nobody likes you, Vulture. Nobody likes you. Where is my hollow at? What do we got for hollow? I haven't really had a, a big of a that big of an opportunity to explore a lot in this world since we had the pirate army and stuff like that right away. See, now it just feels weird. We should definitely have encountered hollow already. Like, I'm actually kind of concerned where my hollow is. <laughs> it just seems weird. There's some. So we've got a slightly hollowed jungle. That's pretty funny. Now did it spread? Now that means it's going to spread to the right eventually. It's still kind of a jungle. There's just a little bit of hollow in here. I think we might have a problem with the hollow spreading. Like, not spreading enough. Don't let derplings hit you. Do not let derplings hit you early game. You will take a lot of damage. So ignore them. I think we found our hollow, and that's probably going to be my only hollow. And I mean, there's, yep, there's corruption over here to my left. You get out of here, derpling. I don't even think this thing has a unique drop. The dash, I know you can avoid the damage. I'm not sure about them. If you find tortoises, don't let them hit you either. So this, I don't really think it's doing much of anything. So our hollow is a little bit derp in this world. <laughs> That's kind of an issue. I could remedy that. I could spread it myself quicker if I want to. I could take the pearl stone and move it places, but that would obviously it would only trapper hit you either. That would increase the rate, of course, at which hollow spreads in my world. So we kind of have an issue here with my hollow. I can't really farm at the moment until I create my own biome. Hmm. Let me dig some of the pearl stone at the very least. Let me take some of it. I'm going to want it. So there's very likely... The biggest issue I'm going to run into is there's going to be a whole bunch of like hollow in my, my jungle, which... Eh, whatever. I'm not going to sweat it. But there's not like a separate hollow biome yet in my world. Let's get out of here before we die. We're taking a lot of stupid damage. So, so much for that idea. Huh. I'll probably have to make my own hollowed biome. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, kinda, that's actually really interesting. I've never had the hollow start in the jungle before. Usually what happens is, to the right, there's like a crimson thing, and it comes down like in a V-shape, and then there's a hollow that comes down in a V-shape, and usually it hits your grassy area. So, the hollow in this world is very derp. Very derp indeed. Kind of annoyingly derp. Jungle slime banner. I wondered why that was a slightly gr different green from this one. Anyway, it's uh, time to wrap the episode up, guys. So, I think this was episode 82. We have a little bit of a problem with the hollow situation. It's just very strange that it's spawning over here. Not exactly sure how I'm going to handle that just yet. I wanted to farm it, but... Uh, I mean, we can make our own hollow biome. We could contain our own hollow biome. There's a couple things we could do. I mean, I could... I, I don't want to be in the jungle. In the hollow. I want to be in the hollow, which is... Kind of like what we encountered right here. Where it was underground 
cavern, but corruption, but then it'll be underground hollow. And I, I don't I don't want jungle hollow. I don't want the combination of those two binds. That's just stupid. So I might have to go spread some hollow over here just to give myself a good biome to deal with. I think I might do that. I'm not really concerned about spreading the hollow in the world and like overwhelming my world. I don't really care. I'm not going to purify the world. I never saw a point in that. But I might make my own artificial hollow biome. I think that is what I'm going to do. Alright guys, let's wrap the episode up here. Again, I am fairly sure this was episode 82. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.